Here are the best things to do in Istanbul this summer to enjoy a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Ensure you watch the video until the end so you don't miss out on the most exciting thing you can ever imagine doing in Istanbul. So yeah, let's get right into it. Starting at number 5, we have a visit to the iconic Hagia Sophia. The Hagia Sophia, a UNESCO World Heritage Site in Istanbul's Old City, is an amazing example of Byzantine architecture and design. Built as a church by Emperor Justinian I in 537 AD, it was later converted into a mosque by the Ottomans in 1453 and then became a museum in 1934. In 2020, it was re-established as a mosque. Approaching the Hagia Sophia, you'll be struck by its majestic dome, supported by four pendentives and the impressive 104 monolithic columns made of marble and granite. The interior is adorned with intricate mosaics, marble floors, ornate mihrabs, and beautiful stained glass windows. The Wishing Column, also known as the Weeping Column, is a popular spot where visitors make wishes by rotating their hands in the hole. The Hagia Sophia is also home to the tombs of five Ottoman sultans, located in the courtyard. The Imperial Door, a significant feature, was reserved for the Emperor and his entourage. The Amphalion, where Byzantine emperors were crowned, is another notable highlight. The Hagia Sophia is an unforgettable experience. Visiting this building offers a blend of Byzantine and Ottoman architectural styles. Every aspect of the Hagia Sophia showcases the ingenuity and craftsmanship of its builders. Hagia Sophia is a timeless and awe-inspiring wonder that will leave you breathless and lingering in its beauty, history, and splendor forever etched in your memory. Number 4 is Visiting the Basilica Cistern The Basilica Cistern is a fascinating piece of architecture in the heart of Istanbul. This ancient underground water reservoir is a must-visit attraction for anyone interested in history, architecture, and unique experience. Built in the 6th century during the Byzantine Empire, the cistern was used to store water for the Great Palace of Constantinople and other buildings in the city. With a capacity of 80,000 cubic meters, it's an engineering marvel that'll leave you in awe. Walking along the raised platforms, you'll be surrounded by 336 columns, many of which were salvaged from earlier Roman buildings. The intricate carvings on the columns and the vaulted brick ceiling are a sight to behold. And with softly glowing lights illuminating the cistern, you'll feel like you're outside the planet Earth. The Basilica Cistern has a rich history, having seen empires rise and fall, and it's been a silent witness to the city's transformation over the centuries. And yet it remains one of the most well-preserved ancient structures in Istanbul. More excitingly, the cistern is also a great place to escape the hustle and bustle of the city, and its atmospheric lighting makes it a perfect spot for some amazing photos. The two Medusa heads, which are said to have been brought from the ancient city of Ephesus, add a quirky touch to the cistern's charm, and this makes for a great photo opportunity. In short, the Basilica Cistern is a must-visit attraction for anyone interested in history and architecture and offers a unique experience. Next, you can enjoy the magnificence of Topkapi Palace. Topkapi Palace is a stunning palace and museum that was the epicenter of the Ottoman Empire's power for nearly 400 years. Walking through the palace's beautifully designed buildings and gardens, you'd be surrounded by breathtaking beauty. The Imperial Treasury features the magnificent 86-carat Spoonmaker's Diamond and Topkapi Dagger, while the Sacred Relics Room houses relics of the Prophet Muhammad. Topkapi Palace has five main parts and numerous smaller buildings, including mosques, baths, and bazaars. The palace was built in the shape of a crescent, with the palace at the center and two outlying buildings at each end, overlooking the Bosphorus Strait and the Marmara Sea. Visitors rave about the palace's stunning architecture, fascinating exhibits, and beautiful gardens. You'll need several hours to take in everything to see, including the kitchens, calligraphy area, armaments room, and picturesque views of the Golden Horn from the on-site coffee shop. Located in the heart of Sultanahmet, Topkapi Palace is easy to visit with multiple bus routes and the Bagsilar Kabatas T1 tramline making stops nearby. And with its combined ticket options, you can explore the palace 
harem, and nearby Haya Irene at your own pace. Topkapi Palace is a must-visit for anyone traveling to Istanbul. Its rich history, architecture, and beauty make it an unforgettable experience. But it doesn't end there. Beolu is another perfect place to visit, especially if you're a history lover. With 4,500 years of history, Beolu has been a stage for various civilizations and cultures, preserving ancient traces from the Genoese, Byzantium, Arab, and Ottoman periods. Its main street, Istiklal Kadesi, is a pedestrian street where everything is concentrated, from general consulates to shops, bookshops, art galleries, and more. The charming tram on Istiklal Avenue was reinstalled in the early 1990s to revive its history. Some famous shops on Istiklal Avenue, like Insi, predate its founding and have kept their outstanding quality. Visitors enjoy their chocolate mousse and profiteroles. Beolu is home to many historical monuments, cultural centers, art galleries, and a rich gastronomic tradition. The Istanbul Museum of Modern Art, Tehran Museum, Kush Museum, Doğan Çay Museum, Turvak Cinema Museum, Salt Art Gallery and Arter Gallery are just a few of the many cultural attractions in the area. One of the most famous neighborhoods in Beolu is Galata, which is one of the oldest areas of Istanbul. The Galata Tower, built by the Genoese in 1348, offers a 360-degree panorama of the city. The maze of cobbled streets, bordered by high stone houses, gives it a unique charm. Still inhabited by well-to-do folks, it subsequently welcomed a great diversity of communities, including many Greeks and Jews, who appreciated the good life and freedom granted by the empire. Another neighborhood you should visit is Jihanjie, which has been one of the fashionable districts for several years. It dominates the Bosphorus and offers an exceptional panorama of the city. The stars of Turkish TV, as well as influential people from the arts, fashion and entertainment world, or even expatriates live there. Here, a different atmosphere reigns, with cafes, bars, and a bohemian way of life that gives it the look of the Marais in Paris or Soho in New York. Chukorchuma is another absolutely charming neighborhood, known as the Antique Shop District. You will find absolutely everything, and haggling is a must. The Museum of Innocence, opened in April 2012, is also worth a visit. The name of the museum is the title of a book by the famous Turkish writer Orhan Pamuk, and it gathers many objects that are mentioned in the story. From its monuments to its cultural attractions, from its charming streets to its lively nightlife, Beolu is a must-visit destination for travelers. And on number one, you can end your sightseeing journey in Istanbul by soaking yourself in the beauty of the Blue Mosque. The Blue Mosque, one of Istanbul's most iconic landmarks, is a must-see destination for anyone visiting the city. This stunning mosque was commissioned by Sultan Ahmed I in the early 17th century and is considered one of the greatest architectural achievements of the Ottoman Empire. The mosque leaves you in awe of its breathtaking exterior, with its cascade of domes and six slender minarets. The blue Ishnik tiles adorning the interior give the building its unofficial name and create a truly mesmerizing sight. With over 20,000 tiles, stained glass windows, and calligraphy, the interior is a masterpiece of Islamic art. The mosque's design is a visual feast that rivals the nearby Hagia Sophia. The curves of the mosque are voluptuous, and its six minarets make it a standout among other mosques of the time. Despite its popularity, the mosque remains a place of worship, and visitors are asked to respect this by entering through the south door and not during prayer times. Women are also loaned headscarves and robes if needed to ensure a respectful atmosphere. The story behind the mosque's six minarets is fascinating, with legend having it that the Sultan's request for golden minarets was misheard as six minarets. This caused some controversy as the only other mosque with six minarets at the time was the Prophet's Mosque in Mecca. The Sultan solved the problem by ordering a seventh minaret to be added in Mecca. 
Today, the Blue Mosque is a place of worship for thousands of visitors worldwide. Its stunning architecture, beautiful tiles, and intricate calligraphy make it an unforgettable experience. Whether you're a history buff, an architecture enthusiast, or simply a curious traveler, the Blue Mosque is a must-see destination in Istanbul.